This river is drying up, revealing something underneath that proves what many ancient texts have predicted thousands of years ago. The Euphrates River is in the Middle East, running through Turkey, Syria, and Iraq, and also happened to be the main source of water in Mesopotamia, where the ancient Sumerians originated from, who are one of the earliest known civilizations ever and believed to have descended from the Anunnaki, but I'll save that for another video. The Sumerians left behind thousands of clay tablets like these that they recorded their lives on in a writing system called cuneiform, where they talked about things like beings coming down from the sky and bringing the gift of civilization to humankind, but don't worry, another time. So you you could imagine the area around the Euphrates River is rich in ancient archaeological artifacts. Well, it's drying up fast. Experts say it may be completely dry by 2040. What's scary is that they're finding ancient cities, castles, gold, man-made caves carved into the rock that have been under the river for thousands of years. The reason that's so scary is because this exact river drying up was actually predicted in ancient religious texts like the Bible. Revelation 16:12 reads, "The sixth angel poured out his bowl on the great river Euphrates, and its water was dried up to prepare the way for the kings from the east." And then Revelation 9:14 to 15 says, "Release the four angels who are bound at the great river Euphrates. So the four angels who have been prepared for the hour, the day, the month, and the year were released to kill a third of mankind. So the river dries up, containing four fallen angels that are released to destroy a third of the world. Nice. And it doesn't end there. Even the Quran mentions this river, saying, the hour will not come to pass before the river Euphrates dries up to unveil the mountain of gold for which people will fight. 99 out of 100 will die in the fighting, and every man amongst them will say, perhaps I may be the only one to remain alive. Different, but kind of similar ish idea. Now, I'm not here to get into a religious debate. My point here is that ancient historical texts written hundreds, if not thousands of years ago, do talk about the Euphrates drying as a significant event, leading to the wide-scale destruction of humanity. Man, these videos have been dark lately. Ancient relics like those found in the dried river hold immense value to historians as well as religious scholars and groups, like the Dead Sea Scrolls back in 1947, where a group of teenage shepherds came across a bunch of old clay jars in some caves along the Dead Sea. The clay jars were filled with old tattered-up scrolls with Greek and Hebrew writing on them, which turned out to be some of the oldest recovered written records of biblical text ever over 2,000 years old, containing both exact excerpts from the Bible as it currently stands, and uncovering entirely new, previously unheard of biblical writings like the Book of Enoch, which talks about some crazy stuff that went down. I can see why they took it out, but I'll also tell you all about that in another video. These scrolls were discovered in the Qumran Caves in the Palestinian territory of the West Bank, a similar geographical region as the Euphrates River in 1947. And guess what happens just a year after these were discovered? in 1948, Israel officially declares independence of their land, where they claim these scrolls were found. Good timing, right? For the next 10 years, they continue to uncover more and more scrolls in the area in an attempt to establish religious dominance over their history. More recently, in 2021, they found new Dead Sea Scrolls in caves south of the original location, over 60 years since the originals were found. Here's where it gets interesting. Along with these scrolls, further excavations revealed four 2,000-year-old Roman-era swords in nearby caves, which are thought to have been stashed in these caves during the Bar Kokhba revolt, an armed Judean uprising against Rome in 132 AD. So, Roman era remains can lead to archaeological discoveries of religious relics like the Dead Sea Scrolls, and possession of these relics equals a source of dominance among religious groups. Keep that in mind. Now, the real kicker? Just a few months ago, an entire Roman era cemetery with over a hundred tombs was unearthed in a nearby region. Where exactly? Oh, interesting. In July to September of 2023, there was a surge of articles reporting this discovery with the number of tombs exceeding 100. And I wonder what happened there after September. Tombs of a Roman aristocrats, which we've seen in the past, could be indicators of groundbreaking historical findings like the Dead Sea Scrolls. And the thing about religious groups, they all want to be the first to get their hands on these relics, like the Ark of the Covenant, for example, doing whatever they can to beat everyone else to those discoveries, no matter the cost. Hey, I'm not implying anything here, just stating historical facts. But it makes you wonder what might be under the Euphrates River as as it continues to dry up, and whether these archaeological discoveries really will lead to humanity's demise, as stated in these historical religious texts, whether through some cataclysmic event or just us fighting over them.